You may have recently heard about a story where an Oklahoma school was shut down for a couple of days because there was a threat against a child within the school. And specifically, you may be familiar with the fact that the child in question was transgender and the people who were threatening or planning to harm the child were fucking adults. In a sane and rational society, well, in a sane and rational society, this wouldn't happen in the first place. But in a somewhat more sane and rational society than the one that we have, that would be the end of the story. This is you know, really bad optics for any situation. Grown-ass adults who should know better threatening to harm a fucking child. In pretty much any circumstance, this should be bad. But there's another element to it. See, a bunch of the uh, people who are commenting on these news stories on social media are trying to justify it because one of the people who was planning to harm this child, uh, made the claim that the child was peeking over the stalls in the bathrooms. It's bad enough that you already have one adult who's looking at a 12-year-old and thinking, yeah, I really got to fuck that kid up. It's worse when you get a group together who are effectively conspiring, and that's what we've seen from the images that have been passed around. But it is more than a little terrifying that we have a bunch of people who are on board with this because of an allegation that this child was looking over the stalls. And to be clear, because I know that this is going to be taken out of context, I am not saying that what she allegedly did was okay. I'm saying that this is the sort of thing where you deal with it as, say, a school You discipline the child. Maybe you change the child's bathroom arrangements, although the child in question was already, according to other sources, using a teacher's restroom, and it seems unlikely that she was peeking uh, anywhere. But again, assuming the worst-case scenario, you do not round up a posse of adults to go after a single child, to commit violence against that child. And it's especially scary to think that these people who are defending a group of parents who conspired to attack a child actually needed a group of parents to do it. They look at a bunch of adults who were all ride or die on a 12-year-old and thought, yeah, that's a reasonable response. But, I mean, ultimately, I think the most disturbing portion of this to me is simply what happens when you strip away even the trans context, when you forget that we're talking about a trans kid. When we're talking about any transgression, and I swear, no pun intended, um, against a child, that there is actually a world that we live in where this was the headline in so many places, apparently, that a school in Oklahoma was shut down due to threats of violence from adults to a 12-year-old child. What does that say about our society, other than at least the school did the right thing, probably? Thanks for listening. Amaranth out.